Hello everyone, my name is Akshit Pratyush and I'm working as a senior solutions architect here at DigitalOcean. Today we'll be working on one of the Kubernetes clusters and we'll talk about how we can have better insights on the cluster. Right? So I have a cluster created here with the name Hello World. And when you go to the Insight tab here, let me just walk you through. You can see the default or the basic matrices available for the droplets uh, under the cluster, which is about CPU users, load average, memory users, etc. Right? Now we do have an option to get the advanced matrices. You can see the option here. With the advanced matrices, you will be able to look into the deployment status matrices. Right? Now how we can do that, we will do, we'll go through a few commands to get that enabled. Right? In order to do that, I will log into one of the droplets that I have that connects to my, that connects to my uh, cluster. So first we, first we go into the directory where my files are available, the cluster, uh, the Kubernetes cluster files. Okay. Here we will install the cube state matrix. This is the first command where we are cloning the cloning the GitHub repository. Now the next command that we run is deploying the cube state matrices. Now you can see the cube state matrices are installed. The only thing that we have to be careful about or take care of, we are installing it in the same repository or directory where the files are available for you. Um, Kubernetes cluster, right? Now, once the installation is completed, it will take few minutes to reflect on the cluster. So we can go back to the cluster. We can give it a minute. Currently, it is still showing droplets, load average, memory uses. Just we'll give it a minute of pause. I'll pause the video in the meantime. Okay. So now, if I refresh, you can see that we are able to. See that digital ocean advanced matrices are installed. You can see the check mark here. And now when we go to the insights below, we are able to see the cluster details of the pod deployments and the demons and deployment status. So earlier we were only seeing the droplet details, but now we do have pod deployment progress and availability and also the demons and deployment status. That's all from the video today. If you have any further questions, please let us know. Thank you.